Welcome Try back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm, and when last we left off, we found quite a few clues concerning how we can get to Gromnir, and we even gained some reputation by helping some elves who were forced to live on the streets of Saradush find sanctuary, and now we're about to lose some as we go and speak to Hector. Good day to you, ma'am. Strangers are a rare sight here in Saradush these days. I want to ask you some questions about a stolen spell book. I see where this is going. Well, Lazarus is barking up the wrong tree. I was in the tankard tree all night long, and I have witnesses to prove it. I talked to Squip. He told me he stole the book and gave it to you. Okay, okay, I admit I took the book. But I don't have it on me. If you kill me, Lazarus will never get it. Hint, hint? Don't kill him! Unless you want to fail the quest. I'm not a bad man, really. I just took the book because I thought I could use it to escape the city. But the damn thing is locked with some kind of spell. It's useless to me. Lazarus has a teleportation scroll to escape the city. I know it. If you can get me that scroll, I'll give you the spell book. Do we have a deal? Considering what we've heard about people trying to escape the city, especially from uh, this gentleman here who told us that not even mages can get out, your efforts are probably not going to end well, but we'll certainly go and speak to Lazarus. Very well, I will go talk to Lazarus once more. Speak to Lazarus or don't, it's your choice. But until you have that scroll, we have nothing more to discuss. Also, there's someone over here that we want to say hi to. Someone that we've met before. Volo! Remember, we found him in uh, Nashgal in Baldur's Gate 1. Uh, yes, the, uh... A tab. Um, another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. Uh -huh. Ah, I knew you would turn up here eventually. Volo Thamp Gedarm. I said to myself, rest assured, wherever history is being made, Terry Coleman and her companions are close at hand. Volo, what are you doing here? Come now, surely you know that wherever history is being made, I, Volo, will be there to chronicle events. You don't become the most famous historian on Faerun without finding yourself right in the thick of things. Of course, this time I'm a little closer than I normally like to get, but don't worry about me. I always find a way to get out of these tight situations, and he's not wrong. He has more luck than the deity of luck. What can I do for you, Volo? Oh no, Terry Coleman. The question is, what can I do for you? The answer, of course, is immortalize you and your companions in my historical records. Here's a little preview of what I've got so far. <clears throat> Raised as a child in the cloistered confines of Candlekeep, Terry Coleman emerged from these humble beginnings to become one of the most powerful mortals to ever set foot upon the face of Toril. Saving the city of Baldur's Gate, defeating the mad mage John Arenicus, preserving the Tree of Life, such heroic accomplishments are mere footnotes in the epic tale of Terry Coleman, greatest of the children of Baal. <clears throat> Uh, that's just a small taste of my entry uh, on your exploits. Of course, the ending is not yet complete, and this is still a first draft, but you get the idea. And that's not all. If you care to listen, I can give you a small preview of what I'm going to say about those people who have the glory of adventuring with you. Oh, oh, what do you have about me? Including Edwin. But we'll get to Edwin. Sure, let's hear what you've got. Which of your companions would you like to hear about now? Me! Me! You want to hear about me? Now, now, Edwin. We need to let the others have a chance. Why are you delay? Oh, oh, I see. Save the best to last. Good one, Volo. By all means, I will graciously allow other people to hear their extracts first. Why not start with Corgan? Mm, whatever suits. Tell me about Corgan. Out of all the greatest, out of all the great warriors to come from the ranks of the dwarves, Corgan is one whose name and terrible deeds are already achieving legendary status. Pray that your path does not cross the gruff battle rages, for never has a more efficient killer walked the plains. Damn right. To the point. Which of these, which of your companions would you like to hear about now? Let's hear about Faconia. The fierce and deadly servant of Shah has achieved as the sort of immortal fame enjoyed by only one other drow in Faerun, and while Dritz de Werden is the hero is a hero of the first magnitude, Vaconia's name will forever be uttered with hushed respect. None of Shah's faithful has ever been more feared. Hmm. 
A worthy description, perhaps. Though the other drow you mention is nothing compared to me and deserves no mention when I'm the topic of discussion. But it is your manuscript, yes? Anyone else? Let's hear about Dawn. Dawn Ilkhan and Teddy Coleman is surely a match made in the darkest of the Nine Hells. The Butcher of Barrow and the Scourge of the Sword Coast will continue to cut a bloody swathe through all who stand against them, and several with the ill fortune to just stand in their general vicinity. A dark fate awaits them, but they have no fear of the darkness. Indeed, they've made a habit of embracing it. A dark fate? I think you mean a glorious one. Anyone else? Let's hear from Hexat. Rescued from a vampire's tomb by Terry Coleman, Hexat takes full advantage of her newfound freedom. She explores the world from end to end, finding danger and adventure wherever she goes. I can think of worse fates, though I think you overstate the danger I shall face. At least, I hope you do. And finally, oh, oh, it's my turn, my turn! Finally, Edwin. Edwin Odesseron, arcane master of the darkest necromancy, the Thean wizard's very name strikes fear into the hearts of most mortals. What? That's it? No mention of how I could squash the pathetic Elminster with a wave of my little finger? Bah, writers. Although striking fear with my name is good, yes, yes, very good. Anything else? I think I've heard enough. Thank you, Terry Coleman. I can't begin to tell you how pleased I am to meet you while you're in the middle of an adventure that will change the shape of the realms. Truly, I only hope I can do your tale justice. Hmm. Here's to hoping! Very well. Now let us go and speak to Lazarus. We need to get that scroll of teleportation. I mean, we could just fight Hector, but he did say that uh, he doesn't have it on him right now. He could be lying! I don't see much uh, reason to do so, though. Hello. Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. I thank you for your aid in solving the theft of my spellbook, Mighty Terry Coleman. Is there anything I can do to aid your investigation? Hector admitted he stole your spellbook. He will give it back in exchange for a teleportation scroll to escape the city. I knew that thief was to blame, but he is a fool if he thinks a teleportation scroll will help him escape the city. I do have such a scroll, and I will gladly trade it for my spellbook. But the scroll is useless. Yagashura's mages have cast powerful spells imprisoning us here. Anyone foolish enough to attempt a magical escape will rebound off the invisible walls. A grisly and very messy fate. Nevertheless, here is the scroll Hecton wanted. I suppose the choice is up to you, Terry Coleman, if you wish to warn Hecton about the consequences of using the scroll. I wish you luck in recovering my spellbook. Also, while I'm thinking about it, let us, uh, let's, uh, give you that and, uh, take this. Because we are going to be, uh, buying a few things soon. Yes. Hmm. Of course. But first, getting the spellbook. Regardless of whether you, uh, warn Hector or not, you will get the, uh, spellbook. But we're not going to warn him. One! He doesn't really deserve the warning, and two, we need to counteract that reputation that we gained. Now I know, gaining reputation is good for buying and selling things, but uh, there's one particular event where we can gain a lot of reputation really quickly. And we don't want to have loads of extra reputation lying around when that happens. Hmm? Speak to Lazarus or don't, it's your choice. I have the scroll right here. You have the scroll? Quickly, give it to me! Here, take the spellbook, I can't use it anyway. But this scroll, this scroll is my ticket out of here! This is the, you want to be a nice person option. We're picking this one. You should use that scroll right now. I'm interested to see how it works. Yes, the longer I wait, the more chance I have of losing the scroll. I shall use it right now! There he is. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. And he's now chunks of him on the floor. Took a hundred damage there. That actually wouldn't have killed me. Aye, this be a grand enough lot. Mayhap I won't be needing to kill you all any time soon. <laughs> I doubt you were going to anyway, Corgan. But by the way, we have. I am pleased. Got the uh, book, and Dawn is very happy. Let's quickly go into here. Wait to gather our party before venturing forth. And now we're going to save, because, uh, 
this is an opportunity where things could go horribly wrong. Or horribly right. What would you like? Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. Have you made the exchange with Hecton yet? Have you recovered my spell book? Yes, here is your spell book. My spell book! Thank you, kind mom. Truly, the legends of Terry Coleman have not been exaggerated. I can once again craft my scrolls. Please, feel free to peruse my vast collection of enchanted parchments. And if you see anything you like, I'm sure we can work out a mutually beneficial exchange of coin for said item. What we're going to be buying before anything else is we're going to be buying the bag of holding, because we want more bags of holding. A scroll case, a potion case, and the golden ironstone. Highly sought out by wizards, this ironstone raises the intelligence of those who possess it. 6,400? Very well spent. We're going to pass this over to you. You're going to switch out your uh, pale green ironstone. Plus one Thacko and 10% extra hit points. Both are nice, but uh, we'd much rather you have 20 intelligence. Plus, we now have another bag of holding. Uh, potion case, um... You can hold on to that for now, I suppose. Also, you're probably never going to actually use this, so, uh... We'll just put this in the scroll case, and... We'll let you keep that as well. Now... With you having 20 intelligence, I'm pretty sure that, um... You can't fail in learning spells now, and I think you can actually learn every single spell in the game. So let us uh, have a look at some of the cheaper spells that we can buy, and give them to you. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. Lazarus Librarius at your service. Welcome to the Arcana Archives. Can I interest you in my wares? I've got a collection of scrolls most pages would die for. Let me see what you've got. Now let's have a look at what you can learn. Uh, first, there is Spook. I mean, why not? All of these uh, prices, by the way, are altered by our very high charisma right now. Invisibility, uh, 10 foot radius, sure, it's super cheap. Uh, Non-detection, sure. Protection from cold, sure. Uh, what else can we learn? Contagion? Why not? And your inventory is full. I'm going to double check uh, saving here if we actually have no chance of failure. Scribed, 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 scribed. Ah, that's so much better. Admittedly, I could have given the uh, point of intelligence from the machine in Watcher's Keep to Edwin, but we weren't going to be sharing uh, the uh, magical uh, boosts, were we? Let's see what you've got, and let's learn some more stuff got to here. There is also... What else can we also learn? Uh, if we scroll down, there's definitely nothing here. Nope, there's definitely nothing here. Though there is uh, improved invisibility. We do need to buy a scroll of greater haste and invisibility for Cespinar. Ooh! Flesh to stone. That's a good one. How about... Protection from magical weapons. This one's pretty good. It only lasts four rounds, but sure, why not? And I'm going to leave it... Hang on, we can buy Carrion Summons as well. We'll buy that too. We'll hold out on the rest, because uh, they get rather expensive later, including 12,800 for Black Blade of Disaster. Though, imprisonment is pretty good. And so is Bigby's Crushing Hand. It deals a huge amount of damage. And can, uh, pin people. Also, there are various various ropes here, just in case you need them. And various potions. What we do want, there's also a, um, Battalista's Passport here. Just in case you needed, uh, 40% fire resistance. We want a scroll of greater haste. Wherever that is. Uh, mislead. Improved haste. We want that. And we want a scroll of invisibility as well. Just so that we can uh, hold on to them. 
Invisibility, invisibility. There are a lot of scrolls here. This is pretty much the, hey, you've just uh, made a new character and uh, brought them into Throne of Baal. If you need any spells, this is where you get them. Also, scribed, scribed, scribed. Oh, it's so good to just have them scribe automatically. Busy, I am I'm going busy. to miss the uh, extra hit points that you have, Edwin, but, uh, or rather had, Whatever but we'll deal with that. Okay, we've done that quest. Also, can't save right now. Game's not gonna let us. Can we save now? Yes, we can. I have no idea why it doesn't let you save right away, but either way, there's something we need to do, and that is head over to here and go into this place. Also, look at how fast we run. Just because we're wearing, yeah, we're wearing the paws of the cheetah. We have a couple of them. Let's go into the militia house. You must gather your party before venturing. After we do that, of course. Oh. -ho. Oh, also. I should. Oh. Cutscene here. That appears to have gone awry because I tried to go to the inventory while the transition was happening. Oops. Can't even escape. <laughs> One moment. What I wanted to do before we got in there was... Oh, Very incoming. Run for our lives. Nobody took damage, though. Was, um... Was switch out the helmets between Dawn and Terry. Now I've done that, let's go into here and watch a cutscene. What can it be now? Countess Santel, I know this is difficult for you, but you have to make a positive identification. Yes, he is the one. Matteo, he is the... traitor. No, the Countess must be mad with grief! There must be some mistake! You are certain, Countess? There is no mistake? I am certain. Before my beloved son, Ardic, disappeared, he told me he had witnessed... Matteo opening the gate. There. Surely you now see my overzealous Captain Samand that your egregious accusations have needlessly vilified my impeccable character. Why are you doing this, Countess? I am Ardic's friend! Your son and I grew up together! Captain, I stringently demand you incarcerate this heinous felon immediately. You make no demands of me, Kizer Jerry. I fulfill my duties as I see fit. Men, take Matteo away and escort the Countess to her quarters. Yes, please. Take me away from this place. Hmm. What is it? Well, Captain, am I free to go now? Is this travesty of justice, this witch hunt, this this fiasco finally at an end? You are free to go, Kizza. Get out of my sight. I'm in no mood to see your unscrupulous face right now. I suppose such abuse is the best approximation of an apology I can expect from an uncouth cretin such as yourself, Captain Samand. So things have happened here. Let's get below down. Whatever you what want. can it be now? What? Oh, you must be one you must be the ones Melisan told me about. Just what our town needs. More Balspawn. <sighs> My name is Captain Samand, and I'm very and I'm a very busy man right now. I need to ask you a few questions. Well, you better make it quick. I can't stay for long. I must see to the defense of the walls. Why did your soldiers drag that young man away? That Oh, a most unpleasant matter. A few days ago, someone opened a secret gate into the town. Saradush could easily have been overrun. We just discovered the traitor was a young man named Matteo. You don't sound convinced. There's no doubt in my mind that someone betrayed us. The enemy came through a small sewer outlet that was protected by both a locked iron grate and several powerful magical wards. There is no way to open that entrance from the outside. But Matteo is a faithful soldier, not the type of man to betray Saradouche. Maybe he didn't. Are there any other suspects? An alarm was raised, and my soldiers arrived only a few moments after the gate was opened. We found three people in the area. Matteo, Ardic Santel, and the merchant Kaiser Jari. When we began our investigations, I strongly suspected Kizza. Kaiser, Kizza, I'm not sure which one it is. I'm going to go back to using Kizza. He's a greedy, self-serving weasel who would sell his own mother at the price is right. What changed your mind? We didn't get a chance to complete our investigations. Ardic, the son of Countess Santel, disappeared. He was our primary witness. But somehow you still made an arrest. 
Our attention was focused on the vile Kizza, but we had no proof. Then the Countess told us that Ardic, her son, had implicated Matteo before he disappeared. That's a pretty weak case, if you ask me. If you knew the Countess, you would know her word is beyond reproach. And she has nothing to gain from a lie. Matteo was Ardic's closest friend. Accusing him was very traumatic for her. Still, I have to admit this does not sit well in my gullet. I was so sure Kizza was the culprit, to discover it was one of my own men. I am shocked. So now you just sit back and wait for the executioner. Matteo will not be executed, not while we are under siege. The defense of Saradouche is my first concern. But if I had more time, I would investigate further. I just want to find the truth. Perhaps I could delve deeper into this matter for you. Also, I like that line being there. If you wish to investigate further, I will not stand in your way. Speak to Matteo in his cell. The jailer will let you see him. Thank you for the information. I shall be going now. What you do is your own concern. I must away to aid in the defense of Saradush. And through the hidden entrance in the tiny tavern that's actually the barracks at the moment. They got a lot of use out of this area. They're gonna get a lot of use out of they got a lot of use out of the next area too, which is the tiny prison that we've been in before. Also, there are potions here. We're going to take them. In fact, we're going to tab and double check that there's nothing else there. There isn't. Always worth doing though. And so, when we come back, folks, we have another thing we can do. Considering how small the area of Saradush you can explore is, there are a lot of quests to be had. And all of them are full of some kind of peril. Even if the peril is to your gold pouch. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.